What's up, guys? Let's talk about Diablo 4. This this is not going to be the first video on this channel about Diablo 4, but uh, I just wanted to talk about it real quick and uh, just go over my thoughts on what I think about it so far. And the main reason why I made this video as well is because I saw an article that I was reading. Diablo 4, they say, isn't intended to be played forever. And there is a, quote, pinnacle boss encounter at the end and this made me realize that my god guys is there been a game that's been this controversial ever is this the most controversial game in existence before release i've never seen so much vitriol <laughs> and so much arguing over a game before in my life now i like diablo i wasn't a huge diablo 2 guy i briefly played it i played a lot of diablo 3 but this quote in general that i was reading isn't intended to be played forever is just another example of how divided the community is going to be about this game because some people they like the idea of playing this game and finishing it dude and on the other hand, there's people that have that have been playing Diablo through the seasons forever. And it's pretty controversial and contradicting to say not intended to be played forever when you literally are having monetization options for seasons of the game and for massive replayability. So I'm not sure how the fuck you're supposed to say that. Interesting that there's a pinnacle boss encounter at the end, like it's the end-all be-all, when again, you're promising seasons and promising this game to go on and on as a live play service. So what is it? So the, the controversial adversity about this game is that, in my opinion, from my experience so far, going over as an outsider, because I didn't play the beta, I've just been going over the info with you guys, and there's so much things about this game that you can shit talk about. First of all, fuck Blizzard, obviously, right? Second of all, fuck the monetization options they've already had about this game. Paying extra money to fucking play the game early four days in advance, and not only how scummy that shit is, do you know that the game, if you do uh, pay extra to play it in advance, it's before the weekend? So if you don't pay money to get the, the uh, extra days, you have to be the loser to play the game after the weekend launch. Who's going to do that? Obviously, most of you guys are going to pay extra money to get in early, right? Otherwise, what? You're going to miss out the entire weekend while the cool kids play early? Fuck Blizzard, man. You know exactly what they're doing with this. It's just a scummy company. Anyway, my main issue with this game is what the fuck is this game? What is it? Now again, I didn't play the beta. I've been watching some videos. But as an outsider, here's what I don't understand. And again, we'll be talking about this game again. Because I'm definitely going to be playing it. I do like Diablo. I like the universe. I'm going to play it. But from what I've seen... I don't understand what the fuck the game is. Is it an RPG? Is it an MMO? Some people are going to say, oh, Alex, it's an RPG with MMO features. Well, not from what I'm seeing. It's all over the place. Open world. It's just, there's so many question marks about this game that it's no surprise that there's so much arguing about it. There's people, and, uh, and uh, guys, be careful with this game, too, because there's so many fucking influencers already saying so many different things about this game. There's influencers from Path of Exile trashing the game. There's influencers from the Diablo universe people, like, uh, I'm not going to name drop people. You guys probably know who I'm talking about, that are praising the shit out of this game. No matter what the people do on the dev team for this game, they are going to kiss their ass no matter what. Oh, look at all this beta feedback. Look at all these beta notes. Oh my god, they're listening. Oh my god, Diablo's going to be best thing ever because they're listening to beta feedback. Game hasn't come out yet. Game literally hasn't come out yet. And you're saying it's the best game ever? Be very careful. There's so many people with different opinions on this game. You don't know who to trust anymore. I do, to a degree, trust Kriparian's view because he had the world first with the Diablo 3 Hardcore and he has a lot invested with... He's had a lot of investment with the Diablo universe. So to a degree, I trust him. And I watched this full video on it. But my God, I've never seen a game more controversial in my life. Has there been? It will be... Like the title says, it'll be a hell of a ride. 
seeing what happens with this game. I'm I'm all I'm all for it. You guys know there's going to be so many memes, so much outrage on this game. We're what about a month away? My God! Even if you're not interested in playing this game, you have to admit the hype and the reaction to this game is going to be hilarious. It might it's going to open so many memes. I don't know what's going to happen with it. I'm so excited, not even to play the game at this point, to see what happens at release, to see how much bitching is going to happen, to see how much people complain about it, to see what the issues are with it, how many login issues, by the way, are going to happen with this game. You guys know for a fact that there's going to be login issues out the ass with this game. It happened with Diablo 3. There's no doubt in my mind it's going to happen with Diablo 4. And what I think is interesting they're pushing out another beta to test during the launch of Legend of Zelda. That alone makes me question what's going on. Who launches a beta for their game? A, a beta, sorry, a beta during the launch of one of the most anticipated games of the year. Look at the big brain on Brad. Yeah, what's going on here? And I'm, I'm, and I hate to say it, and I'm just gonna say it out now. The people that are making this game don't look like gamers, and that concerns me. I hate to be that guy and say it, but I'm going to say it. They don't look like people I would expect to be making Diablo, and that's a concern to me as well. A lot of red flags with this game. Like I said, I hope it's good, but I'm concerned, and I think a lot of you guys are too, but man, if it's a train wreck, I'm all for it. Let's find out, and we will find out. This won't be the only video because I'll be playing it and I'll uh, I'll be definitely be ranting about it if uh, my thoughts on it at some point. So thanks, guys. Let me know down below, too, what you guys think about Diablo 4 so far, because uh, as I can imagine, a lot of you guys have differing opinions and I'm uh, excited to hear what you guys have to say. Peace.